I'm going to show you how to do the fleeting lights quest so you can unlock the forgotten hall in Honkai Star Rail. So this is, I'm not exactly sure when this came. Maybe it was at the end of the quest lines when you're stuck where you need to go. So I'm at a point you need, you know, you need Trailblazer level 24 to continue the main story uh, on Jario 6 or whatever that planet's called. Uh, that was when I noticed this, but um, it may have come a little bit before that. I'm not sure. But either way, you'll get a text message from Pom Pom. And we'll interact with Pom Pom on a text message. Okay, and so the first time that you do this, you'll actually get a different mission called the Conductor's Reward. You have to do this first before you can uh, get the next series of text messages from Pom Pom. So do the Conductor's Reward first, and then then we'll continue this. Okay, so that mission's really fast. You just go here and talk to him, and it's done. So after that, you'll open up your text messages, and if you're far enough in your game, you'll have another text message from Pom Pom, and you can interact with Pom Pom in this text message. And this one will give you another one that you have to do first, which is called Don't Forget About Home. So you click that, navigate, and this one will want you to go over to Pom Pom again, who's now over here. And you're going to have to interact with Pom Pom over here. And I'm going to skip all the text and dialogues, by the way, and just click the top one and everything. Uh, okay, so there we go. That gave us a bunch of stuff. You know, easy mission. All right, so now go check again, and if there's no mess from Pom Pom, then you've got to progress your story even further before you can do it. All right, so after you've hit the story point where you need level 24 to continue, what it actually ends up being is level 21 Trailblaze level. All right, after that, you'll get another text from Pom Pom, and you just reply to this, and this will start the actual one we really, 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 really are interested in now. So this will start... Let's see what the name of this thing is again. Is it Fleeting... I already forgot the name of the thing I'm making a video about. Uh, fleeting Lights. Oh my god, I was about to say it, but I hesitated. Okay, Fleeting Lights. Alright, so click it. Navigate. Go to the car. The rail car. And move up the Pom Pom. And it'll start this dialogue. Ask the conductor about what... Alright, then talk to Pom Pom. Oh, All right, locate the strange occurrence on board the express. It's gonna be this mirror thing on, over here on the right. Uh, and then after that, wow. talk to it again. Huh. Another person comes out. Thank you. Garden of seeing. We can. Have That's why I, I believe. We <laughs> Madam Her, there is. A don't this come. All right. And then, in order to continue doing this, I have to clear any memory stage at the Forgotten Hall. The forgotten... And now we have the Forgotten Hall unlocked. So, level one. Each stage of the Forgotten Hall has a special environment mechanism, memory turbulence. Increases wind damage dealt by all allies by 50%. Utilize memory turbulence wisely to achieve the objectives. So, like, if theory, if you had everybody leveled up high and some had enough experience for all that, uh, you could just swap out to whatever, you know, team you want for whatever buff it gives you, but... All right, objectives win at least 10 cycles, with at least 10 cycles left, win at le with at least 14 cycles left, no more than one downed character, team set, okay, level 32 enemies, recommended type, whatever, okay. So, we're going to uh, pick our characters here. So, this character, and then this character, and then uh, character, this character, and then we're going to hit memory down here at the bottom right. All right. So, now we're just going to go in here, and we got to fight. Now, this enemy was apparently level- these enemies are apparently level 32, so you might want to be a little bit leveled up for this. But luckily for me, I have a turtle team, and on top of that, I got Branya as my guaranteed 5-star, which is like the luckiest thing in the universe. And then, because of that, I, it'll be- it'll be crazy if I actually lose on this. Because I can just turtle forever. All right, so there we go. Let's Battle two of two. Use his alt. 
are made to be broken. Let's go. All by home run hit. This battle is unavoidable. Gonna use this person's all. All right, and then this person is going to. Uh, I'm just gonna keep attacking the main one with it. This one's gonna need to put a bear on the main character. This person's gonna heal the main character. You'll pay for this. Oh, I'm gonna use this person's ultimate. Cause this bot, this little, this guy's gonna take a little while, so I'll probably get it back by the end of it. I had a lot more damage than I thought that was gonna do. I'm just going to top main character off in case I don't get healing in this game mode. This is our chance. Rules. All right, here's, with this turtle comp I have, this is literally my only DPS of this character. Basically. So. Try that again. That's why when we have skill points, what we're going to do here is we're going to... Uh, so we're going to try to... Uh, <laughs> Just repeat the main character's turn over and over and over again and have so these two will be in a deadlock of skill point renewal have this person heal herself because the other person has a shield for now try that again my turn this person puts the shield main character main character's targeted um I'm gonna need the skill point back. I'm gonna need the skill point so I can't use the thing I want to use because I need to heal That's Branya. Your assistance is timely. You can't run. Try that again. This battle is unavoidable. All right, gonna shield Here. March seventh, and then I guess I'll just heal up March seventh. This person's not gonna do anything else. Um, I'm just gonna let the person attack. I could have used an alt, but I'll just save for the next fight. Alright, win with at least 14 cycles left was... Okay, we got 12 remaining cycles. So... Okay, there was a certain number of turns we were allowed. I guess I wasn't paying attention. So I definitely should have rushed it faster. All right, so that's how that works. But after that, that's how it is the first time from now on. Then I think that might be the last step of this. If, um, about me being on the Astral Express. It'd be best if you kept it between. If that's the case. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close. All right, so then after that, I'm gonna go over here and talk to this person. I picked the top option. I'm not sure if that mattered. I still was gonna tell everybody. Someone from the, the express. Yes, not real. All right. And that's the end of that. So there we go. That's fleeting lights. If you're wondering how to do fleeting lights, that is how you do it. And again, in order to unlock it, I guess the main main requirement was level 21 trailblaze level. And then also getting to the point in the main story where you have to be level 24 to continue which was uh, Cleanse in the Darkness Outside, which was, you know, Jarillo 6 after fighting Svarog. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that helped you out. Now you know how to unlock and do the fleeting lights so you can unlock the Forgotten Hall in Honkai Star Rail.